Okay, let's tackle this basic algebra word problem. I think this problem would be something uh, that you would see uh, like the pre-algebra, certainly the algebra one level, but if you're taking college algebra, intermediate algebra, or algebra two, and you say, yeah, I wanna go ahead and just see if I can do this problem, I think that's perfectly fine as well. And here's the problem. You have a rectangle, and here's the, the lengths and widths of the rectangle. But um, one thing I want you to take uh, note of is that if um, I'm telling you it, it's a rectangle, however, if you didn't know any better, you just couldn't assume that this little a shape that looks like a rectangle is a rectangle. Um, if you're given a figure, like a sketch, you have to be mindful of these little symbols down here. So this little like square in there indicates that's 90 degrees. So this is a right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. That's what by definition uh, defines a rectangle. So Anyways, a small but important detail. So uh, let me go ahead and tell you the problem. So we have this rectangle. Here is the dimensions of this rectangle. This particular rectangle has a perimeter of 30 inches. I'd like you to tell me what the area is. So if you think you could do this problem, I would say, hey, pause the video. I would say most of you out there that know what you're doing could uh, solve this problem in about oh, under two minutes or so. But uh, if you want to, go ahead and put your answer in the comments section. I'm going to start uh, soliciting your feedback um, in the comment sections in terms of some of these problems that I do. And put in your answer, see what you can come up with, and then we'll obviously compare answers here in a second because I'm going to get into exactly how you solve this problem. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything uh, in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, maybe even college level, um, you know, a mathematics level, okay, and you're having a tough time with uh, your math course, I can help you out. If you are taking any kind of an exam that has math on it, so like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam, a teacher certification exam, you get the idea there's a lot of exams out there, and quite frequently there's a math section I can help you prepare for that exam. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum that you might be interested in. And if you need some math notes, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But hopefully you don't need my math notes because note taking is one of the most fundamental critical skills that, you, that uh, is required to be successful in mathematics. And this is over decades of teaching math. You got to take great math notes. You'll take you'll you'll thank me later. Okay, so. I'm going to get into the solution here. If you want to pause the video and put your answer into the comment section, that would be great. But let's get going here. Okay, so uh, here's the situation again. Okay, you can see I have my solution uh, written out here. First things first, we have this rectangle. I need to understand what this word perimeter means. Okay, so I'm saying the perimeter is 30 inches. But what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is the sum total of the sides of this rectangle. Now, it doesn't have to be a rectangle. You can have the perimeter of any object, but basically, if you just find the sum, the lengths around a particular figure, that is the perimeter. So, uh, in this case, I, I have to take this side, okay, which is x, plus this side, okay, the length and the width. I'm, I'm taking this, this width, this length, this width, and then this length. All four of these, when I add up this with this and this and this, is the perimeter. Now, one thing I need to kind of uh, uh, review here, if you didn't know, when we're dealing with a rectangle, a uh, rectangle, its opposite sides are equal. Okay, so if this side over here is x, then this side over here is x as uh, well. And then if the length is x plus 5 up here on this side, then down here, uh, this is going to be x plus 5 as well. So that's a very important fact to know. That's why, you know, we had to be very clear that this is a rectangle because now we know that the opposite sides are uh, the same uh, dimension. All right, so now that we have our perimeter, it's 30 inches. So um, again, our perimeter is going to be the sum total of all these things. So let's start adding these up. So x, okay, that's this side, plus x plus 5. All right, that's, that's this uh, length here, plus x again, right there plus x plus 5, that is our perimeter. Now, when I add this up, I have how many x's? I got x, 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 x. I have 4x, and then 5 and 5 is 10. 
So my perimeter is equal to 4x plus 10, but of course I ha um, have the actual value for the perimeter, that's 30 inches. So we're gonna plug in that 30, the perimeter is equal to 30, and so 30 is equal to 4x plus 10. So first things first, anytime you're dealing with a uh, an algebra word problem, you wanna read the problem, you know, draw a figure, reread the problem, really make sure you understand it thoroughly, okay? And then, you know, map out or draw a figure. Now, of course, I have a sketch or a model of the problem right here, but if I didn't, if I just kind of verbalized this problem to you, you, wanna, you would wanna write this out. You would wanna draw a little quick sketch. That's very, very important. And once you have that, you wanna relate the information in the word problem to an equation, okay? And that's what we're doing here. And um, if I solve this equation, I'm gonna get x, okay, which is of course uh, one of the sides of our rectangle. So now uh, it's up to you to have the ability to solve this basic algebra equation. Now you can see here I have 30 equals 4x plus 10. Just remember in an equation, the left is equal to the right. And then here, if I, I can write this, the right is equal to the left. In other words, um, I can, if I have x is equal to 3, 3 is equal to x. Now, the reason why um, I'm stressing this is that I, I have my 4x plus 10 here. Uh, typically, we're kind of used to having a variable on the left-hand side, so I, I'm gonna, just going to write it stylistically this way. It's just easier for me to uh, work in this manner. So uh, we're going we're gonna to have 4x plus 10 is equal to 30. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. And uh, the first things I need to do is subtract 10 from both sides of the equation. So when I have, uh, when I do that, I'm going to add down like so. I'm going to get 4x plus nothing is 4x, and 30 minus 10 is 20. And now here, uh, to solve for x, I'm just going to divide both sides of the equation by 4, and I get 20 divided by 4, which of course is 5. And uh, so we're not done yet, but if you got x is equal to 5 and you understood that, let me go ahead and give you a little happy face and an A. Uh, well, I'm not getting, well, let's give you an A plus and I'll give you a couple stars, but we're not done yet. All right. Nice job. And uh, oftentimes students will get to this point and they'll get so excited. They'll be, look at me, uh, uh, teacher. I, I solved the problem. Look, X is equal to five. Well, we're not done yet. Okay. This is just part of the step. So, you know, don't get overly excited. We now have to do uh, something with our solution here. Okay. So what do we have to do? Well, we know X is equal to five now, right? So let's put this over here. We just solve for uh, x. x is equal to 5. But what does that mean? Well, then that means that this x right here is 5, okay? And if this x right here is 5, that's going to be 5 plus 5 is 10. So let's go ahead and get the actual dimensions of this rectangle, okay? So again, this is 5, all right, because x is equal to 5. You can see that here. And then the length here is, is 5 plus 5, or 10. Remember, the perimeter was 30 inches, okay? So our lengths here are going to be in inches. Units of measure are very, very important, okay? They're not like a little trivial detail. Make sure you put those in. So if I ask for, uh, let's say, the actual length and width of this um, rectangle, make sure you put in, uh, you know, your units of measure because your student will not, uh, your teacher will probably uh, dock you a point or two. Okay, so we have five inches by 10 inches. This is our rectangle. Now what we need is um, the area. Okay, that's what we wanted. And we're going to need the formula for the area of a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is length times its width. Okay, so here we just have the information. The length is 10, the width is five. So that's 10 times five, 10 times five that's 50 but we got our units of measure here. Remember area, it's gonna be uh, units of measure squared, okay? And this again is not a little detail. So the area is equal to 50 inches squared. So if you figured, uh, did this correctly and put that into the comments uh, section of this video, then that is awesome. Now I must give you a nice happy face with the good old 1983 Mohawk with extra Aquanet hairspray and A plus and a few little stars just to make you feel extra special. Nice work, okay? Again, you know, the title of this video is just a basic uh, algebra word problem, but you know, that term basic is all relative. If you're just learning this for the first time, it's not so basic for you, but just know that, you know, uh, word problems in algebra, the way you get good at them is to do a lot of them and start with the easier ones, the more basic ones before you tackle the more advanced ones. But uh, 
If you like my uh, teaching style, I have quite a few uh, word problems in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Okay, but if you like this particular problem, uh, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll subscribe. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So hopefully... You know, you like my uh, teaching style because I want you to watch my videos. I want you to learn from me. You know, uh, and of course, I've made a ton of videos and I will be making a uh, ton more because I'm obsessed with teaching math. OK, I'll never run out of math problems to do. So that's not going to be an issue. But my best math help uh, will always be within my math help program. OK, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.